from the very beginning, I felt this movie should be told in real time. Every step of the journey, breathing every breath with these men. A gasp-inducing feat of cinematic immersion from director Sam Mendes. We need to keep moving! Come on! 1917 dispatches two British soldiers on a do-or-die mission across the battle lines and hellscapes of World War I, capturing every breath, every step, every spine-tingling explosion. When you watch this film, you're not just watching it, you genuinely are experiencing it. A war film like few in recent memory. The second are due to attack the line shortly after dawn tomorrow. 1917 is waged at a time before nations fought with missiles. I got him. Or fighter jets. It was unlike any other film I've ever made and, and, and ever will make, probably. It's images depicting brutal combat from 100 years ago as soldiers and their horses came face to face with weaponry. It's a story that you can get lost in, you can get thrilled by. Its thrills, gunfire, and perilous adventures made all the more mesmerizing because the film appears to consist of a single continuous shot, a Herculean undertaking conjured up by the mind of Mendes. What made it the right idea for this movie? It seemed a natural thing to not have any cuts, and that's how I prefer to describe it, a movie with no cuts in it rather than a one-shot movie. You're experiencing every second passing in what is effectively a race against time. Let's go back to one. A century-old conflict captured using 21st century technology. Cameras carried through muck and debris and strategically mounted on techno cranes, cars, and motorcycles. Moving in choreographed, chaotic symphony. I feel in some way it requires a different level of emotional investment. You know, you, you feel like, okay, well, if I'm here with these guys, I'm just going to have to live with them. And so it seemed to me to put the audience in the shoes of the characters where they, they literally don't know who's telling them the truth and, and what the reality is or what's around the next corner because there's no way of finding out other than going there. Come on! I can't see! I can't see! The heart of the film buoyed by solid performances from its two lead roles. It's a mind shaft, but we have to jump. Portrayed not by A-list actors, but by up-and-comers, George Mackay and Dean Charles Chapman. This film's, you know, it's not just about the First World War, it's about the human experience and kind of what it is to be human. And I think the context of war is one in which humans are stretched physically and emotionally to their absolute limits. With such long takes for every shot, the cast and crew rehearsed for months before filming. You understand that the focus puller, he's expected to get it right every time. The boom operators, the cameraman capturing this, if his timing's out just by a hair, the take's unusable. I think Sam just did a really good job in making us not feel that pressure. And in a way, Everybody had pressure, even the camera department, the sound guys, they had their own little choreographed dance going on as well as we did. A carefully calculated dance, but for 1917, Mendes was also drawing on personal history, dark tales of the Great War as told to him once by his grandfather, Alfred Mendes. It was me and my cousins pestering him, thinking we were going to hear stories of heroism and bravery and, and you know, how he won his medals and it was going to be cool. And, and instead, he turned around and told us stories of absolute chaos. World War I was supposed to be the war to end all wars, engulfing dozens of countries and costing millions of lives. At such a massive scale, filmmakers had to construct a world built to mythic proportions. We built, in the end, over a mile of trenches, and we filled them. There were thousands of people, and all built around just the actors, just these two actors. Camera operators waded through treacherous terrain, all under the watchful eye of Academy Award-winning cinematographer Roger Deakins. All you're doing is matching that pan at the Marking his fourth collaboration with Mendes. Every trench had to be measured the exact length, every orchard, every farmhouse, every town street had to be exactly the right length of the scene because there was no way of cutting distance or jumping time. The Oscar goes to... Five years ago, the winner of Oscar's Best Picture category also sustained the single-shot illusion throughout. All you have to do is... Alejandro Inuritu's Birdman nabbed multiple Oscar gold for its director. 
I hoped today might be a good day. 1917 has been showing that it too could be a formidable Academy Award contender, now a likely front run. You know, given the fact that it's a very big, ambitious film, it's not a franchise, there's no you know, existing IP, and, and uh, it doesn't have two, you know, giant stars in the leads. And so the fact that it's connected with audiences is incredibly moving. Mendes took a first stab at the single shot process in filming this Javier Bardem sequence from Skyfall. But now they don't eat coconut anymore. Now they only eat rat. And again in 2015's Spectre. But those were just small tastes. Go, go, go! with 1917 being the main course. So if not everything went according to plan, that was just fine. What kind of happy accidents took place while you were shooting that you kept baked into the movie? Schofield, played by George Mackay, has a, a final run with, with uh, even if you've seen the trailer, it's in there. And he gets knocked off his feet, not once, but twice, neither of which were planned. And for all its deft, precise choreography and mesmerizing movements, what 1917 revels most in is its human moments. I always said to them, just remember it's not you slipping in the mud, it's your character slipping in the mud, it's not you. If you fumble over a line, it doesn't matter. It just, you know, it, it, unless you make a colossal error or we make an error, I won't stop. Last man standing. For Nightline, I'm Chris Connolly in Los Angeles. 1917 is in theaters now. And you can watch the Oscars right here on ABC next Sunday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.